Hey guys, Brandon here, and uh, I'm in my 2015 Model S 70D. I just got the uh, version 9 uh, software upgrade, so I wanted to go over a few features. Um, just overall, um, the changes are uh, maps is kind of like the background desktop or something, and then the other things uh, get added on as um, kind of like cards in Android or something like that, um, overlaid app. So I'll get into that. Um, but a big change related to that is uh, up top here. So the top bar, instead of being opaque, is now uh, translucent. So nothing is dropping down or going back up anymore, which is really great. Because um, especially with some of the older vehicles, I have the original MCU in this car. You know, you'd have to tap on the maps and then something would drop down and you'd have to take your eyes on the road to see when that actually happened to get to your apps. So that's nice. Everything's uh, up here. Um, the icon for the profiles is slightly different. It's now a circle with like a down curve. Um, so pretty simple. Otherwise it's the same. Um, and then of course if you go to your um, uh, yeah to the uh, Easter eggs and stuff. The new one is the Atari, which brings up a uh, um, historic Atari game console. And there's three games there, which I'm not gonna do right now, but they are there. Um, so, okay, so what's cool now about this, so I have the, um, I've got the music app pulled up here, and it used to be you'd have a little square here that would uh, maximize or minimize your window, and then two arrows that would switch the two if you wanted. Uh, that's gone and now you have a drag bar so you can drag it up to about a three-quarter space That's as big as this will get and uh, so you can drag it back to that and then there's also a more compact um, Quarter view or whatever actually less than a quarter um, so and then um, you still have access to um, your audio settings including the balance and um, options and then in the options here uh, is the new allow mobile control so now you can control um, audio via your um, app and I just want to show you on the app here's what it looks like there's a media tab up here so you click on that there's a play pause next uh, next and then volume up and down um, and I guess it goes so you can cycle through your favorites works pretty well. I don't think that that appears, the media tab appears when you're not in the car because I didn't notice it on my phone until now. I'll have to check that. Oh, also you can, um, uh, from like a map app in your phone, you can send that, uh, those directions to the car. I tried it and then it shows up as, as navigation. So you can do that before you even get in the car. All right, so let's get rid of this and let's try some other stuff. So the bottom actually is different as well. Let me show you that. So the car setting's still the same, but now you have a dedicated music button, which is nice. You can get to it right away. This arrow is now where all your apps are. Uh, so I'll get to that. And then seat heaters are smaller um, with kind of harder to read, uh, triple waves. Um, and then, oopsies, the defrosters are now both on this side. Uh, climate control is different. Now it pops up in this form, um, which now you have to select like either everything is auto or nothing is auto, which I don't really like. I liked, I liked being able to like select where the fans were going. Um, and so let's see. So if I put that, yeah. So now I can't control where the fans on if I have auto temperature. So. Oh well, small thing though. Um, but what is quite different is, um, at least in display, is uh, the heaters here. I was hoping the steering wheel heater would get its own icon here, um, but it is nice that it's now uh, in the right here in the climate control, and um, everything is. So also uh, the um, wiper heaters and um, all the seat heaters are now like this. Of course, there's. Um, so I'm not sure why they went to that configuration. They rotated it. it. Used to be this way, but whatever, still works. All right, so let's go back to the apps here. Um, it's still the same apps. So over on the left here, you've got calendar, energy, web, camera. Oh, 
doesn't stay on very long, call and charging. And I just want to point out uh, this call icon is no longer a mobile phone. They went uh, opposite century, so uh, now it's like, you know, 1900s phone. <laughs> All right, so uh, to illustrate something, I'm going to pull up the um, energy graph here. So now instead of you can see there's there's map edges on on the side, so it doesn't doesn't max out. This is like a um, material design almost kind of thing, like Android has, and maybe Apple too. I don't know, but uh, so now it's got like an X on it, like it's an individual app. Um, so that's kind of cool. Uh, the basic stuff is pretty much the same, although instead of having your range selection um, display options on the top, now they're at the bottom. Which makes sense because your finger was down here uh, anyway when you made your initial selection. Uh, of course, Strip doesn't have anything. So those are the those are the main changes in terms of the UI. Uh, let me go back to um, go back to uh, the music stuff. There are changes here, so things have been kind of rearranged. Um, I don't even know what. Oh, direct tune, so you can. Uh, Oh, so, okay, now your music sources are down here, um, again, which is nice because your finger will be down here after selecting music, so, um, phone, any music, so the search is now over there, let's go to streaming, that's not what I want, I want to go to streaming, oh, there we go, now streaming comes up, okay, so that's, uh, favorites, top station, so it's kind of, uh, now it's in a vertical format instead of a horizontal one, which is probably better. Um, so if we click on one, yeah, it's nice. I like the new, um, arrangement, I think. I haven't used it much. Um, so cool. Now, in terms of the dash display, unfortunately, I did not get the updated view. Uh, I have Autopilot 1, so that's probably why. So in, in the Autopilot 2 and above, the car, this car is now slightly forward so that because it now it gives you a real life or a live picture of cars behind you and all around you and stuff like that so hopefully though i i did get the updated um uh blind spot warning when you turn your blinker on uh, i haven't actually haven't actually driven this yet with the new look so i don't know about that but um yeah i'll have to test that so anyway that's a brief look at the um new user interface on um version 9 first initial release i think this is uh what is this like 36.9 version yeah 39.6 the other way um so yeah thanks for watching stay tuned can't wait till it uh i get version 9 on the um autopilot 2.5 vehicle that'll be super cool anyway i'll see you guys in the next video